was really bad because I did TikTok in the middle, but whatever. All right, so my weekend kind of starts here. I just kind of made my bed and brushed my hair. And I'm getting ready to go and see my friend, Caitlin, because I haven't seen her in forever. So just we're going around the house anywhere in case I go outside. I put sunscreen on my face. I don't always remember to do this, but I try to do it as much as I can when I remember. Skin health is important. Skin cancer, ain't fun. Okay, what should I wear? This is a conversation I have with myself every day, even when I'm not filming. So I saw this thing the other day and it was like, I don't think I could ever live by myself because I just wouldn't talk t for like hours on end. And I literally thought, does everyone not talk to themselves when they're getting ready? Because I talk like this even when I'm not filming. What do I feel like eating today? What should I wear? I'm like, is this not something everyone does? Do you not talk to yourself? When you get ready, leave a comment down below. Do you talk to yourself when you're just like doing things around the house? If not, I've just shaded myself there. But if so, fun. I've got something in common. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do, and those skinny jeans aren't really in anymore. I'm just gonna deal with that. I'm with skinny jeans. My brown jumper, I just need to top them. That transition was really bad because I did TikTok in the middle, but whatever. Okay, socks, shoes, and then I'm out to the freaking door. If you, Ever have to take a bet on me, that is almost certain, let it be, that I'm wearing odd socks. I often wear the same type of sock, but they're never the same colour. <laughs> like this bottom is pink and that bottom is white. I just never seem to get my life together enough to wear the same ones. And literally no one ever notices until I take my shoes off. And then they're like, you're wearing a pink sock and a blue sock. I'm like, yes, I am. Thank you. What shoes should I wear? So these or these? I think I'm gonna do the white ones. Do I have fuel? Yes! Okay, then made me oats and fruit and nuts, and I'm having a white tea. Health is well. Good job. <laughs> We are going to just run some errands. We're going to go return some stuff, look at some clothes shops, and then we'll go and look at furniture, even though I need no furniture, but it's my favorite thing to do in the life. I sometimes go to Ikea, even when I don't need anything, and just walk around. I just like going to house openings as well. <laughs> and you know what's oh. so funny about that you said that? They literally the other day, I was like, oh my God, before we go back to Ikea, we should just all go to Ikea together. <laughs> I, I would 100% do that. I go even when I don't need to buy things. Yes. Like I will 100% walk out of Ikea with nothing and just go and look at the fake rooms right. and be like, what if I lived here? I always just walk out with like ice block trays. Yeah. <laughs> Just like something you don't really need, but you're like, I need that. Let's justify this trip. My gosh, what a vibe. What a vibe. So yeah. So there's Galleria up there. I still have my 2020 sticker on. I'm literally that person. I've peeled it off. I know. Like I've some of it. it on your thing and I'm like... So I wasn't vlogging very much then, but we got um, coffee when we were at Galleria and then we went op shopping. Um, Caitlin got a top. I tried on a couple of things, but they just weren't it. And I was like, I'm not about spending money that I don't need to spend, but we're right, going back right now to have some lunch. We're going to have chicken and mushroom. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I just wasn't ready. I was like, I wasn't holding my bag. <laughs> Look at this lunch. So good. Thank you. I'll watch your Instagram while you're sitting there. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I was just talking about my hair. Oh, right. oh, on my face. My <laughs> what do you got? I got a bit of gristle in mine. Ah, it was like bone. That's right, I'm just fussy. Ew. I just wasn't even looking for it because it's breast. Yeah. So it just caught me off guard. Wow, that mushroom is really good. Oh, yeah, it's tasty. Oh my gosh. Yum. Ask Brad how he did it and then tell me. Mm -hmm. So I skipped ahead a little here. We're now window shopping in this furniture store that Kat ordered her custom-made couch from. This is the fanciest showroom I've ever been in. I feel out of place. So that showroom was called Nick well, Scarly. It was beautiful. I literally said while I was in there, I was like, I could spend money here. And they were like, we can help you with that. <laughs> Yes. 
um, fake pompous showers yet. And I think those are the type of ones I'm looking for anyway. Wow, well, should I get one of those for my house? Ashley. I'm definitely not gonna buy anything today, but this has been quite nice. Caitlin said earlier, why are people not normalizing running errands with your friends? Because yeah. this has been real nice and we haven't spent like, you spend money, but I haven't spent any money. <laughs> yeah. I think whoever is designing these needs to get sued. Okay, so I got home at about four o'clock after hanging out with Kat most of today. Um, now till my friends Grayson and Jess are coming over and we're gonna have a wine, cheese and movie night. So very excited. I haven't seen them in so long, like since before we went on uni break. So I'm very excited to see them and hopefully they're excited to see me too. So here is the cheese board I made for me and my friends and the wine I drank. We had a really fun night, but I wanted to respect their privacy. So this is all the videos I took. Good morning. So I just woke up. It is Saturday today. It looks so ominous outside. So I think it's definitely gonna rain hard and I'll show you. Like, look at those storm clouds. I definitely think, and over there, definitely think some rain's coming. But for now, I'm just gonna get up. I'm already up. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get dressed and probably go to the shops because every Saturday morning we do Saturday morning breakfast at home. Um, Ellen, Emma and I, so I might do it today. You know, because it's nice being cooked for every once in a while. Hi. I don't know what I want to wear today. I want to be comfy. Maybe I'll just wear my yellow jumper. I know I wear it like literally all the time, but I also don't really care. <laughs> made some avo smash breakfast we've got bagels toasting in the oven but i'm gonna do fried eggs because i don't do other eggs well <laughs> messed up i'm just frying none of these yolks crack okay there's a lot of eggs Juice, eggs, yum. <laughs> it was not. <sighs> I'm just gonna take a breath. Yeah, you have this one. No, 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 no. I'm annoyed at myself, and I almost just snapped at the people around me, and that's not okay. I appreciate that, that reasoning, Grace. That's really, really wise of you. I'd really like you to have my other egg. No, it's okay. I'm fine with just the avo. I'm not annoyed about the egg. I'm more annoyed I just put it on the carpet. We co-own the carpet, and I don't care at all. Okay. This is a fabulous start to the morning. I was being really? sarcastic, but this is good too. No, this is good. No, I meant that. Oh, yeah, that's obviously in the morning, but yeah. That's the worst thing that happens all day. It's a good day. Okay. I look beautiful. You do. Thank you. <laughs> You're bliss. So we just went and got our eyebrows done and we picked up a coffee. I got a wet chai. Ellen just got a skinny flat white. It's kind of like chai tea but sweeter. I just got mine with soy milk. We're heading home now. Ellen's got an appointment in the city, so it'll be goodbye to Ellen on the vlog for now. Thanks. She's got her own plans, but whatever, you know, we can't stay attached to the hip all time, I guess. So it's like quarter to two. I, we ended up getting back here about 12.30. I just had my auntie Beth over, my grand sister. She came to get some stuff that Graham wanted me to give to her. I'm gonna go and have some lunch because I haven't eaten lunch yet because we ate breakfast quite late. I'm gonna go and have some lunch. But I also, that over there, the washing, 
and this. This isn't actually washing. I've just got all this stuff in a basket with the rental inspection. If you were on my stories a few days ago, I completely missed the mark that we had a rental inspection. So I just had to put all this stuff in a basket. It's all clean or it's like not even closed. Like I've got a towel in there, shirts, jumpers. I just need to get that sorted out. So I made you a bit of a room sort for now. I'm gonna go and have lunch and then come up and sort my room out because it is a joke. All right, so just about to go and get my laptop and pop on Bridget Jones's diary because I've got some work to do. Didn't even end up doing my room. I just had lunch and was just messing around on my phone. So I haven't done anything, but I'm gonna go and get my laptop now and do some content planning and start getting my life together for uni. Figure out what textbooks I need because I haven't done any of that yet. So I'm just here doing some work on my computer for this week's video and just looking at my analytics from last week and stuff. There I am, this beautiful angle I've got going on. And I'm laying here with Eileen. No, we're just sitting here. It's like, it started heavily raining outside just before. So I'm just gonna sit here and do some work and maybe plan out my videos for the next couple of weeks because I'm about to go back to uni. I'm not ready. I literally haven't even gotten my textbooks or anything yet. You know what? It's okay. We're dealing, we're getting through it. I'm ready for this next chapter, nervous for this semester because I didn't have a great result from some of my units. Insert the crying clip I took earlier this week here. Oh. But regardless of that, I'm determined to have a good semester. So I'm gonna try and be proactive in what I can control right now. So I'm gonna do that. So someone on my Instagram messaged me about these little band-aids you can get and put on pimples that get rid of them overnight. And then Ellen and I went to IGA to get some dinner and then we watched a JLo movie to finish the night off. It was like just before 10 o'clock, I have literally just been sitting in bed. Not feeling sorry for myself, but I have just been like watching Netflix. I think I'm gonna get up and have a shower and get dressed ready for the day. <sighs> So I had a shower, washed my hair, and then headed to the shops to get breakfast for Ellen, Emmett, and I. We just had some croissants with cheese and tomato. But then I got a really bad headache. I think it's from just so much processed food. Um, but I took a nap, and then I was feeling A-OK. -okay. Okay, so we've had a super chill day today. Just been at home, like, all day. We just ordered food from this Japanese restaurant. I think I had the biggest bowl of ramen. I have ever had. We are now going to go to the spa. We're getting massages and facials, a two hour relaxation package. And flipping heck, I'm excited. We've only got this done once before. So Ellen got me this as my 21st present this year. My birthday was back in Feb, but Ellen's been really busy with work. I've been busy with uni, but we just were like, let's do it this weekend. We're gonna go get it done. And it is honestly such a friggin' bougie spa. I'm dead set thinking I'm gonna fall asleep because I ate that much ramen just then that my belly is so full I think I'm about to go into a food coma. But I'll try and show you as much as as far as I can because like I said it's freaking bougie.
Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. So hold on. Just while we're fresh, this is my skin after. I think I noticed a difference. Also, I did want to record in like while getting the thing, but one, I didn't want to make my spa technician uncomfortable. And two, I think I would have been banned from YouTube because I was like naked most of the time. Like I know they have those little towels that like cover your boobs, but I was not about to share that with you all. I know we're close, but we're not that close. So didn't think it was appropriate to include it. And I don't regret that. <laughs> Okay, so last time I got massages, it was literally so relaxing. Both Elle and I fell asleep. Look, I can't even talk. I kind of fell asleep this time, and I think I scared the living bejesus out of the lady. Not because I was asleep, but not once, but twice, I suddenly woke up like this. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and it was a noise. It wasn't even that. It was a noise I've never made in my life. I just caught the end of it. And both times I did it, I felt her whole body like... <laughs> It was embarrassing for me. I felt bad for this lady. I see a little peeper sunset over there. Mm. It's just so dark. Like the sky is just so dark. So I don't think we're gonna have a good sunset tonight, but that's okay. We have had a lovely weekend. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog guys, but it's Sunday night So this is where I'm gonna end the vlog because it's a weekend in the life and my weekend life is over I'm just gonna go home and eat dinner and there's nothing interesting about that. So I'm gonna end the vlog here Thank you so much for being here and for watching if you haven't already Please make sure you like and subscribe as I post every single week. So I will see you next week.